Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and this is another tips, tricks, and techniques. And today's going to be all about glue because I have a constant flow of questions about glues, what glues I'm using, what tips I'm using, why am I using this, why am I using that. So I thought we'd go over a few things today. Now I'm going to start, I'm going to set this aside. And I mean, I know it looks like I have a ton of glue out here, but it, I'll tell you the specifics in just a few minutes. You don't have to have all of this glue. I have it for specific reasons, but let's just start with our glue stick. Now this glue stick is a Pioneer Photo Glue Stick. This is specifically made for photos. It's acid-free, permanent bond. Uh, let's see if I can read it. Uh, special photo safe formula non-toxic child safe dries clear I don't know about other glue sticks this is the only one that I use so this is like I said specifically made for photos this is what we sell in the store everything that I'm going to show you is what we sell in the store I don't sell a product that I don't use so if I haven't used it and tested it out then you won't see me selling it but this is a good glue stick it's um 88 ounces it goes on smooth it has a smooth application so that's just what I like for glue sticks now there are probably hundreds of other glue sticks out there that are that do the same thing I don't know like I said this is the only thing that I use and what I sell if you're looking for a glue stick that is photo safe just make sure that it says acid free photo safe something to that effect all right, that's our glue stick. I will also link all these products below for you as well. Now, this is our Barely Arts glue. Uh, some people ask me, why do you have Barely Arts and why do you have Art Glitter glue? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you the reason. Barely Arts glue ships year round. It doesn't hurt if it freezes. I mean, you can put it outside in five below weather. It'll freeze. You can bring it in, thaw it out, and it, it works just the same as it did before it froze. So if it does freeze, it doesn't hurt it. Just thaw it out, shake it up a little bit, and you're ready to go again. That's why I use Barely Arts, one of the reasons. The second reason is Barely Arts does not show through vellum, and it doesn't warp your vellum like Art Glitter Glue does. Art Glitter Glue, when I put it on my vellum, now I'm, I'm speaking for me in Alabama. Other people in other locations may have different results from their glue. I don't know. Um, when I put Art Glitter Glue on my vellum, it warps it. It, it'll be wavy where I put the art glitter glue. Plus, it shows through everywhere I put that little speck of art glitter glue. Barely Arts does not. All you have to do is put it down on your vellum and then press it in with a bone folder or something. When it dries, you can't tell it's there. That's the two main reasons that I keep Barely Arts on my desk. Now, I don't have to have this. I could use Barely Arts for everything, but... Since this one ships year round, I like to show you how it works. It sticks just as well as Art Glitter Glue does. I've, I've used it on tons of products, journals, everything sticks just as well. I have no problems, no issues with it. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't be, I mean, I know it's not, it is not made by the same person. But it wouldn't surprise me if down the road you found that the formula in this is very, very close to the formula in here because they look the same. When you put them out on, let me just grab this little sheet here. When you put them out on your surface, they look just the same. This one, you can tell I haven't used it in a while. And I will tell you, if your sticks up like this, or if you have a problem with it coming out, you can wash these little applicators. Just stick them in some hot soap and water and wash them. You see, they look identical. They're, I can tell very little difference in them. Looks the same. So, if you wanted to just use Barely Arts, you could, because it'll do everything that Art Glitter Glue does. It sticks together anything that you want to stick together, and you can get it shipped to you year-round, where I, we can't ship Art Glitter Glue in the wintertime. They just won't let us. They say, no, no. 
So we're out right now and I can't even get any more until springtime. So that's the main reason that I keep Barely Arts on my desk. I love this stuff. We sell tons and tons of it. Now I am going to show you. This is the smallest bottom. This is the mini. All right, this is the original. This is the little package that you get when you order the original. You can see the different size. This is the mini, that's the original. This is four fluid ounces, whereas this is two. But you get the same kit in this as you do this. You get a little kit that has three different points on it. It has two pen, no, it has one pen, one long pen in there. So let me open this up and I'll show you. So see you've got this point, which puts out a little bit more glue. You've got this one, which is a fine tip, but it's not as fine as this one. And then you've got this long pen, and then this very fine tip, which is what I like. Very, very fine tip. Okay, so that comes in the kit. And then you get a little card in your kit. That some of them say something about a monthly giveaway, different things like that. And then you have the regular cap that comes on the kit that everything's sealed. And then you have this cap that you can put your different tips on. So that comes in your kit. Now this is a, like I said, this is called the original. We have the original, we have the mini, the original, the bundle, which has, the bundle has the mini, the original, and the refill in it, I do believe. And then we have the refill, which is this. This is the refill. And it's uh, 11 fluid ounces of glue in this little bear here. And you can also buy the tips. It has the different tips in here. You can buy those just separately if you want. Now someone asked me, um, let's see, they said, why is it that my pen that I put in my glue rust the uh, glue, or the pen rust and it goes into the glue. In order to use a pen in any of these glues, you need to use a stainless steel pen. Don't use just a regular straight pen that you have around the house. It has to be a stainless steel pen or it will rust and it will rust your glue. So it'll stop everything up. Now we're going, since mine needs refilling, I'm just gonna show you how to refill. A lot of these things you guys will know but some of them, some of the new people may not know. Now, this comes with this big piece on here. I don't take all of that off because you're not going to use this whole thing in one sitting. I mean, it takes a while to use it. I punch a hole there and I kind of waller it out just a little bit. I want it to be a little bit bigger. And then I punch just a small hole up here. And then I pour the glue in there like that. That may be a little bit small. No, that's coming out good now. You might have to squeeze just a tiny bit. I just don't like to punch a big hole in it because that lets your glue dry up quicker. And this doesn't dry that fast, but I just like to keep that top on as much as I can. Now, if you have a little funnel, you could do that, but it's just as good for me to do this way. Doesn't take much to fill this one up. All right. Now I fill it as much as it'll go usually. And then I don't waste any. I scrape that off with my hand and I put it in there. And then when you seal this back up, just make sure it has no glue around the edges. And then just close that back up and set it on your shelf. And you've got lots more glue waiting for you. Love, love, love my bear there. Now, this is the part that I told you you can wash. If this gets all stuffy in here and it gets to where it doesn't come out well, you can take this to your sink, throw it in some hot soap and water, and just clean it. You can clean all of this out of here. You can see how sometimes it'll get stacked up in there. I just clean all of that out. Now, if you're having a problem putting your pen back in, if you have left the top off, a little bit too long like I do sometimes. Don't try to force it down in there because these pins do bend pretty easy because they're stainless steel and they're very thin. Just push it and twist, push it and twist, and it'll eventually go down in there. Push it and pull it out, push it and pull it out, 
and it will eventually go down in there with no problem. Mine is bent right now, as a matter of fact, because I did what I'm telling you not to do. Now, I've also had people ask me what these little tops are right here. I've had lots of people ask me about those. We don't sell those, but I get mine by a pretty good pack of them. I don't even know how many was in here. 30 pieces. And I get them off of Amazon, and they're very inexpensive. They're probably 3 or $4 for this big pack. And th this is knitting needle caps is what that is. And all you have to do is just... Let me just go ahead, since this pen is bent anyway, straighten it out a little bit, and then you can see once it gets up in there, it sticks, and it also had glue up in there, so I'm just going to, that one's nasty, I'm just going to chunk it, and then I'll put this one in there, and what I do is put my pen in down like that make sure the glue is not up there and you can use any size I use the smaller ones for my small glue and I just push it down on the pen like that and it's easier to get it off and on with a little cap on there it doesn't really help the glue it's just easier to pull it off and on so that is this and I like I said I will link all of these products below so that you'll be able to see what they are and where I get them all right, now, one more thing about Barely Arts. Uh, I had lots of questions when we first started selling these. Well, I, I had lots of statements. Let's put it that way. They weren't really questions under my videos that said, don't use Barely Arts because it's not photo safe. Well, I emailed the owner of the company, and he and I talked, and there is some acid in this glue. There's very little acid. It's like point something or other, 0.0004, something like that. It's a little bit of acid in here. So he said, with that small amount of acid, we still can't say, oh yeah, it's safe for you to put on the back of your photos. I don't, he said, I can't guarantee that. But it's safe for every other kind of paper crafting. For my journal, I don't really put down original photos anyway. If I'm putting down a photo, I put down a copy of or something like that. I keep all my originals on disk drives anyway or flash drives. But um, he said there is a small amount, so therefore we can't say it is guaranteed photo safe to put on the back of your photos. But he said if you put your photo on a piece of paper, put this on the paper and put it down in your scrapbook, if you're scrapbooking, he said that is perfectly safe. It holds just as well as anything else. So we just wanted to drop that in there. It is, It does have a little bit of acid in it. I still use it on the back of my photocopies. Like I said, I don't use my original photos in my books anyway. Those are all saved on flash drives. Okay, that being said on that, now let's get to our glitter glue. You can see mine is loved and loved and loved. This bottle has been around for a while. I have used this probably, I don't know, three or four years. And all of the, the outside is cracking and all that but the bottle is still just as good so who cares doesn't bother me at all <laughs> this is a fine tip this is a stainless steel pen and it does not come with your art glitter glue you have to buy this pen separately it's in a pen kit like this this is a pen kit for the art glitter glue it has the little metal cap here and then it has the stainless steel pen. That's what's in this. So you would have to buy this and this separately and then put them together. Now putting this on is as easy as pie. All you have to do, there is the end. Like I said, mine's well loved. There's the original end that comes on most of the art glitter glues, the ones that are not refills. If it's a refill, it doesn't have a cap like this on it. But if you buy this size, which is the four ounce, it has a cap like this that has the point on it. You can use it like this, or you can put your little fine tip on there. All you have to do is put it down on top of that and give it a squeeze or a twist, and it's there. And then put your cap, your little pin back in there, and it's ready to go. This again is one of these. I just used a larger one. They come in two sizes, and I just used the larger one. 
much, much easier for me to find my pen that way. And, you know, I tried the little dangles for a while and I, I just didn't like those because it, they were constantly rattling and clanging on my desk and I just, that just irritated me. So I didn't use those. But that's the art glitter glue. Now, if you have lost your pen or bent your pen, whatever, you can also buy the little pen kits. These are the pen kits that we have in the store. It comes with a little spoon. The spoon is not necessarily for your art glitter glue, but it just comes with a spoon. It comes with, let's see, one, two, three, six pens in here. And then it has what they call nudgers. Now, the nudgers, they're pieces of hard paper and what it what they're for is to like if you get the art glitter glue out of line you know if you're gluing down through here and you get it out of line you can take one of those nudgers and just kind of push it back in line if you're that specific and you want to do that it also comes with a little piece of material i don't have a clue i guess that's to wipe the art glitter glue off with they're all different colors but that's your pen kit right there the best thing in here i think is your six pens that you get so that is the two different pen kits that you can purchase now this one does not have the metal tip in it so don't go purchase this thinking that you're going to get that metal tip because it does it's not in here it's only in this one the smaller one so you'll see that when you go on the website so i'll lay that aside there's the art glitter glue you can also get the big refill we can't get it right now but when we can get this back in stock you can get the big refill and you just refill your art glitter glue from this and i keep this one of these in stock for myself and i just refill it when it gets low which is very low right now i need to refill it this one is doesn't have quite as big of a top so i just open it up open this up and usually when i do this when i refill i also go and wash my tip and clean it real well that gives me gives me a good start on a on a new bottle and you can see this is a little bit more liquidy but not too much Ooh, did i put that full or what um, this is just a tiny bit more liquidy than the Barely Arts, but not much. It's just basically the same formula, I think. Now, make sure that you wipe the excess glue off from around the top, because if you don't, when you put your little top on here, it may get stuck on there, and you have to have your hubby or somebody that has some strong hands to get it off. But see, I, now is when I would take my pen tip and all of that and I would go wash it because I've even got glue up in there, you can see. And washing it will just help get all of that out and clean your tip up really good. Keeping these products cleaned and keeping everything clean, they'll last you for a long, long time. So that is your art glitter glue. And when we can get back in stock, your refill. Clean that off a little bit and I never have a problem with this drying up on me or anything as long as I keep that lid nice and tight all right now we come to Fabri-Tac and Fabri-Fix I've had questions about what's the difference in Fabri-Tac and Fabri-Fix very very little <laughs> except this one's a little bit cheaper than this one this uh, bonds fabrics lace leather trims and more this one bonds fabric lace glass leather wood and trims so this one bonds a little bit more than this one does fast grip quick dry washable acid free so this is acid free this one is yes acid free dries clear grabs fast so they both basically do the same thing unless you're wanting to act add something to glass or wood then I would definitely use the Fabri-Tac. I keep Fabri-Tac and I use that all the time. It doesn't really matter one way or the other because I'm not gluing wood or glass but this is what I use when I'm gluing like my um, lace trim on or something like that. I always use this. Now I do not use this when I'm gluing the covers on my journals because this would take forever. Plus sometimes if your material is very thin, this will show through. So I don't use that when I put on my covers. Just when I put 
you know my lace is down like on this journal I put my lace down here I used the Fabri-Tac and it glues very hard and very well I use Fabri-Tac when I'm putting on little jewels any kind of little uh, glass jewels or enamel dots anything like that I put my Fabri-Tac under there because it glues well and it holds well and it grabs really fast and that's what I like but this is really good. You do not have to have this. You can glue your lace on with art glitter glue and barely arts. I've seen people do that. You just have to let it sit for a while before you touch it to let it dry. It has to sit for a while. This will glue little metal parts and things just like this will. But you have to let it sit for a while. Whereas this grabs real quick. So that is that. Now, like I said, you do not have to have these. You can do everything you want with your Barely Arts or your Art Glitter Glue. Now, these bottles are very tough for me to grip because I have lots of arthritis in my hands and my wrist. These are tough for me to, to squeeze and grip. I put mine in one of our Sugar Bell bottles. These are Sugar Bell icing bottles is what they are. I love these things. These are the best things that I think they have come out with since sliced bread. <laughs> but we sell them in the 4 ounce and the 8 ounce. I use the 4 ounce because it's just easier for my hands. And they come two to a pack. They already have the little metal tip on it. And this is kind of a fine tip as you can see. Not quite as fine as the art glitter glue but it's a fine tip. And this will also come off too when you take everything apart. You can take that off and clean that. So that just kind of snaps off. And you can clean that, put it back on, and then just screw this back on there like that. Now, when you buy these, you can see they don't come with any kind of top. So we have the tops that you can get. They're four to a pack, and it's these. These snap right on there. They snap right down. And as long as you keep this closed up well, your Fabri-Tac or Fabri-Fix is going to last you for a while. I don't have a problem with mine getting hard or getting thick as long as I keep this top on. Now, I'll tell you, if your Fabri-Tac or Fabri-Fix does start getting a little bit thick, you can add a little bit of acetone to it. Now, don't add fingernail polish remover. It has to be acetone. Acetone is just that it's just acetone it doesn't have all the other things in it that fingernail polish remover does i just take a little bitty half cap full and put it in there and then shake it really really well or stir it well something to get it all mixed up in there and it it will loosen it back up for you so if you feel like it's getting a little bit thick then do that so that's what I put these in because these these bottles are just tough for me. Some people don't have a problem squeezing them, but for me, they're tough. That is the bottles that we use. Like I said, they're icing bottles, so you know they squeeze real easy. Now, this is PVA glue. This is one of the 8-ounce Sugar Bell bottles. I keep my PVA glue in here because I usually use quite a bit of it when I use it. PVA glue is very, very good to if you're going to put down material on a cover of a journal. I use my brush and my PVA glue, and I just swish it on there. I pour out a good bit, swish it on there, and then put my material down. It doesn't warp your material. It doesn't show through. You know, it's just lots of, of pluses to the PVA glue. We don't sell PVA glue, but the only reason we don't is because I can't get it. I can't get it wholesale anywhere. I've tried. I've tried ordering it from everywhere and I can't get it. I've had some people tell me that the white school glue is the same thing. I don't know. I've not read the ingredients for both, so I don't have a clue. I just like my PVA glue when I'm putting down a material on chipboard or something like that. I want a good solid adhesion to do that. And this is what PVA glue does. Now don't say you, I'm not saying you've got to run out and buy this. You don't. You can use your Fabri-Tac to do that. Just make sure that you smooth it out before you put your material down. You don't want any globs on there because I'm afraid your material would be warped a little bit. You can also put some of your art glitter glue out on a 
on a surface and then brush it on if you want. So there's different ways that you can put your fabric on. This is just what I prefer. That being said, um, you can also use collage podge. This is a instant decoupage, but this is also a glue. It, it glues metal. Uh, it's a sealer. It's water resistant, and it's a good finish to any kind of surface. This is a matte. We sell matte. I don't sell the gloss. It dries crystal clear, which it does. Water resistant, smooth finish, super easy. Seals paper to cardboard, paper mache, terracotta, wood, canvas, glass, plaster, and foam. Used with greeting cards, gift wrap, stamps, posters, magazines, and color copies. Always test the best, always test for best results. So this is this is an Aileen's product, so you know Aileen's products are very, very good. But um, this grabs really quick. It is acid-free, so if you want something to use for photos and different things, you can use this, and it is acid-free. It will not hurt your photos. It never has mine. I'll put it that way. I use this, well, you can look back at some of my videos and you can tell I use lots of collage podge. It does not leave a tacky surface like Mod Podge does. Now, in my area, when I put Mod Podge on something, on a surface, let's just say I wanted to cover this surface to seal everything on. If I put Mod Podge on here in my area, even three months from now, I could touch it and it would be tacky. So therefore, all of the dust and everything collects on here. This does not leave it tacky. It leaves a smooth surface. It, it's not tacky, not sticky, anything when it dries. Uh, let's see. I told you that it dries completely clear. All right, so that is that. Now, collage podge, we sell lots of too. Lots and lots. Especially when I showed the other day some of the different things that I do with it. I love using it with putting tissue paper on a surface. It does very, very well for that. Um, let me see. Something else I was going to tell you about this. Now, Fabri-Tac, there are dangers. It has a danger warning at the bottom. And let's see if I can read it. Highly flammable liquid and vapor. Eye irritant. Uh, read carefully, caution on the back before using. So there is some dangers to this. You can't get let the kids have this and get it on their fingers and put it in their mouth. It's not safe for kids. Um, this is kid safe. It will not hurt. It's child safe. If they put it in their mouth, it wouldn't hurt them. This has no danger warnings on it that I see. Wait, caution. Keep away from direct and indirect sunlight. Do not freeze or boil. Wash out of clothes immediately. Do not swallow. Keep away from eyes. Keep out of the reach of children. So this you need to keep away from children as well. But that is your glues. Maybe I covered everything. If you have any questions about different glues, just feel free to leave the questions in the comments below if you would if you'll put them all in caps and just put a two or three question marks at the end that way I catch them a lot quicker that doesn't take me as long but uh, if you will do that if you have any questions let me know and like I said this is not something that you have to have I've collected these over a period of years but I think the main thing right now that if I was just starting out and just doing journals. I won't say doing scrapbooking because I don't do scrapbooking anymore. But if I was just starting out with my journals and it being this time of year, I would get some Barely Arts and that's what I would start working with. I wouldn't worry about my photo because, like I said, I don't put it on the back of my original photos. But if you're worried about photos, then get some of this and get some of this and you've got it made. This will glue everything that this one doesn't. Use this on the backs of your photos and use this on everything else. These are very inexpensive. This is not expensive if you consider how long it lasts because it takes very little. So that's what I would start out with if I were you and it was this time of year. 
Okay, guys, that is it for the, I hope it was short this week. I didn't, I didn't know how to make this one any shorter because there was a lots of information that I needed to give you. Let's see, caps, sugar bell bottles, barely art. Yep, I think I covered it all. But again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them as best I can. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.